five years and I work at Oral. Ooh, Helen messed that one up. <laughs> My one word for wow is wow. <laughs> <laughs> If I were to sum up my career at Inspira in one word, it would be rewarding. Oops. <laughs> I always find, I'm sorry, can I start again? Absolutely. That's All okay. Right. Take it. Evolution. <laughs> See, I messed it up. How's that? You like it? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> Holy mo plus it's hot outside. Yes, hot, hot. What's the next one? Well, at first I wanted to do challenging because of everything I've been through, but that would take me two hours to explain all that. Are we done yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> been here for 30 years. That's great. <laughs> Worked for Accounts Payable for 20 years in Bridgeton. <laughs> I said I've been here 15 years, I'm sorry. You're probably gonna cut me later, I'm sorry. I mean, if you want a blooper, I can hold it upside down, but. What compassionate care means to me is loving people well right where they're at. Compassionate care isn't like this um, heroic event that takes place every three weeks, you know, it's Every patient that I take care of, every family member that I encounter, I have the opportunity to love them well. And that's what is so rewarding to me. I worked in a big city hospital where they knew New Jersey as an exit on the turnpike. No one knew my family, just never felt like home. When I came back to Woodbury, um, people that I was taking care of were my neighbors, my family, my friends. Almost anybody that I knew knew my parents. So at that point, from 1984 on, I always felt that I needed to take care of my patients as though they were my family. I always strive to be kind, compassionate, and diligent when caring for my patients. I am very proud of what I do and who I am as an employee. I work in the MRI department, and our patients, when they first see our magnet, is extremely intimidating. And by showing those gestures, it just goes a long way. I strive to provide a well experience, not only because it's the right thing to do, but it's the way that we should treat everyone. Number one, we have to listen and hear what they're telling us. Number two, we have to pay attention to those details. And we need to provide dignity and respect to those customers and patients. Respect is not just given, it's something that's earned. Through my career, through all these 50 years, I can truly say I've had wonderful leadership the entire time. It's been a fabulous journey. I have no regrets and I have no complaints. It's been wonderful. Inspira has taken me from crayons to perfume and has made me who I am today and I truly appreciate that. I think it's important to be a good listener because patients want to be heard. They want you to know what they're feeling and what they're going through. And if you tap into that emotion, you can actually relate. One of the most rewarding things for me working at the Life Center as a therapist is helping people regain access to the community so they can not only maintain but regain their quality of life. So having somebody who's completely bed bound, being able to give them the tools necessary so they can regain access to the community and enjoy their life the way that it was meant to be. I want patients to feel safe. Safety has always been something that I strive for. So when you walk into the doors, I want you to feel like you're at home and that you are safe and comfortable. When I started working for the hospital system, I was still in high school. And when I took the candy uh, striper position, it was three to 10, so I had to be home immediately after I got done work uh, because of curfews with my parents because I still lived at home. So I progressed into the LPN course at the high school. I graduated. Then they put me as an LPN on the geriatric cardiac floor. And then um, I was taking charge of the patients at night because they didn't have enough RNs going around at that time. So then um, the supervisor came to me and said, you know, you're doing this job. Why don't you go back to school and get paid for what you're doing? And that's how I went back to school. Inspira has changed in the past 30 years with technology. 
We uh, are no longer handwriting our lab report slips. They're, the need for delivering them to the nursing station is now done through the computer. We also do not have the need to file our lab slips because it's all computerized, which would always mess up our fingers, nails, our cuticles. Yeah, I'm, I'm proud to work for Inspira, and that's why I've been here for 20 years, and um, I just like my coworkers. They're like family, and we get through the day, we have a problem, you know, we work through it, and they're very helpful. We have a good team. Inspira's changed over the course of my 10 years that I've been here by experiencing a tremendous amount of growth from one hospital becoming several hospitals. I believe if it was a movie, I'd call it 150 and climbing. I've encountered a lot of changes, a lot of good changes, and I'm proud to be part of the system. I've been promoted to different positions and been given responsibilities that make me feel special. Everyone's been kind and great to me, and I'll never forget the years that I've been there and all the experiences that I've experienced, and it's all been good. I was hired 50 years ago, and it was Bridgeton Hospital at the time. My sister was a nurse on the floor, and she came home and told me they needed a clerk. So I came and applied. I sat down at a desk, filled out an application. Mr. Bailey, who took the application, was sitting right next to me, looked it over and said, start on Monday, seven o'clock. I didn't even know what the job really consisted of, but it was interesting. I came in and they just showed me how to do everything. But I do want to thank Bridgeton Hospital for giving me that opportunity, because I don't think they do that now. You have to go to school. And at that time, they just trained you right there. And, you know, I thank them so much. And now I've been here for 50 years. <laughs> I love it. One word that would describe my 25 years at Inspira would be committed. If I can describe my career in one word, it would be rewarding. Challenging. I would say fascinating. If I could describe my Inspira career in one word, it would be non-traditional. It would be rewarding. One word to describe my career is wow. Flourishing. Inspiring. One word to describe my career is rewarding. If I were to sum up my career at Inspira in one word, it would be rewarding. If I could describe my career at Inspira with one word, that word would be evolution. One word to describe my career at Inspira is wow!